Well, peanut butter, our guest, has decided that he will transform Megan McDonough and her friend Anya Kazimierska. Do you know what he's going to do to you girls? He's going to paint our face. So what are you going to do? I call this label stock, and I've already cut a piece, something to fit Megan's petite face, and I'm going to apply it to the face. And this is a symmetrical pattern. I'm going to do something like a little mask on her. Oh, so you're making a uh, kind of a pattern or stencil. A little bit of a stencil. And what I'm going to do is typically I would use airbrush and do a white base, but I'm going to do something quicker, which is take some powders that people can get at home, like a little blush, and I'm just going to go along the edge here and just bring this up into the face a little bit. So you can almost simulate the airbrushing. That's exactly what, uh, what it does. And with a Q-tip, you can get a nice little dark coloration here. How long have you actually been decorating faces? Officially uh, painting faces in Philadelphia, 21 years. Oh, Megan, pretty fabulous. So now you can take iridescent powder, which you can get at a department store. If you want to do little dots on her face, take a Q-tip and... And you can shadow if you want to shadow. Sort of brush this in there like this. And then spread it out with the other end. And just mm -hmm. get a little bit of a hint of a shadow under here and then pull this off and whoops and you try not to hurt them too much These <laughs> precious little kids <laughs> off it comes oh, but what a clean beautiful edge oh it looks good megan <laughs> oh my gosh let me see oh how oh. beautiful you can use spirit gum you can use surgical adhesive you can use liquid latex you can also use elmer's glue it works and then beads you can get at a little craft supply store or wherever and then so you don't have to pierce. <laughs> you can, you know, continue. So we'll just put a couple more on. And you haven't done Broadway shows, and you haven't done movies. This is crazy. How come you don't do that? Well, I also do paintings, and I just had a big painting show in oh, New York. Oh, and you did? That's oh, where it, which gallery? It was called Kavaha's Gallery down in Soho. And I had about 15 paintings, and I had 30 photographs of uh, painted faces. The face painting is derived from my paintings, and the people that I teach are all kind of taught in that in that spirit. How about showing her in the cracked mirror? Sure. Ready? Yeah. Okay. No. Oh, I look really, really good. Don't you love it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Very special. And now, how can we transform so, Anya? So I'm going to use a, a similar technique. Use I, I've cut something a little jagged uh, for you, just to match your braids a little bit. <laughs> We're just going to do a quarter of your face here, and I try to bring it right across the nose, and then I'll take a piece of scotch tape here, and put this up here. Like. Oh, so she'll just be one quarter done. Yeah. And then I'm going to use lipstick, and it actually blends better than water-based paint, and you just put it on, smooth it out a little bit, and I'm going to put a little pink metallic on top of that, and get that mm. to, to add a little iridescence to it and blend that out a little bit. And then I'm going to use some more of this iridescent gold. Do you remember a store called Fiorucci? Sure. I think that was the first store to bring in all this crazy glitter and iridescent makeup. And I still have my original Fiorucci makeups that I used to wear. Always gold on the bones. I can take a little black lipstick, which I'm sure everybody has, especially at Halloween, and then do the shadowing with this. If you buy the little basic makeup kits, that's essentially what this is. It's just a grease paint, and yeah. it's very hard to paint with it because it's very viscous, and it's much easier to spread with either your finger or a Q-tip. So I'm going to do that, and then I might just throw a little bit of, uh, just a little pattern, maybe a little touch of this on top of that. Mm, I love that. And, and then pull this off. Oh, <laughs> we're going to get your hair on you. Oh, you look great. Right. <gasps> wow, you look lovely. There. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's so beautiful, though. And we'll put some gems on her. These are called cabochons, which are a little bigger. And we'll just put some right down the middle, make her a little bit like a princess. Mm -hmm. And these are done with makeup that you'll have right at home. And you didn't get to see what you look like. Ooh. Great, huh? Can we do a little something on uh, just oh, a little yes, flare of yes, great. just a touch. What I want to do is just a little splay of gold beads, just something elegant for for nightwear or for fun. This is a coke feather, chopped it up with a little pair of scissors. This is a different glue, it's surgical adhesive, and 
And I'm going to take these and one at a time in their uh, graduated order. That's cute in the V's. Um, little chevrons and have them put those right in, in her part there. How do I look? Good. And then put the tail right on top. The caboose. And, et voila. There you go. Oh, how great. Perfect for my meeting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, peanut butter, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. And I know the girls will have a very pleasant evening tonight. So if you're interested in this kind of decoration for your body, for your face, just call Peanut Butter. And on our website, we'll give you all the information so that you can call Peanut Butter at will. Thanks, Peanut Butter. Thank you. It was great. It was a pleasure meeting you.